Hi. Today, I will explain how to use the Opposing Viewpoints database. It's a great database. If you need argument types of articles for your paper or presentation. Right now, I'm on the library.rit.edu homepage. And in the middle of the page, you'll see several tabs. I will click on the database tab. And I'll type in the name of the database. Then click on search and you'll see the database page open up. You can browse for different topic ideas. Or if you know your topic, you can type it in the search box and that topic will show up. So let us look for different ideas. That's a great place to start if you don't know what topic to do. Now let's go back to the home page. You can scroll down and see some of the current topics that people are discussing. I'm curious about infectious diseases. So I'll click on that. It gives you some background information about infectious diseases in general. Suppose I want to find out more about coronavirus or COVID-19. I can click on the right-hand column. It has that topic. Before we go ahead, I want to explain that this database has different types of articles. The first being opinions or viewpoint articles, which are good for argument papers. Two, peer reviewed academic articles. Three, popular magazines. Four, newspaper articles. Five, pictures. Six, audio tapes with scripts. Maybe they had a radio interview. And also for six, they may have a videotape that's related to that topic. I will scroll down to the opposing viewpoints articles. I'm curious about social distancing and why that's a good thing to do. Maybe I believe that we should do that. I have to back up my opinion with the article. So click on the title. Now 
notice that you can save the article or email it, download, and so forth. You also have the option to save it to Google Drive. Also, notice in the upper left corner, you can enlarge or decrease the font to make it easier for you to read the article. That's basically one article you can use. I want to show you how to cite it. Up at the top, click on the Cite button. Here you can see the MLA citation, but also there is APA and Chicago. I'll click on APA. Remember, you have to double check the citation because sometimes there's minor errors. If your professor wants you to use the seventh edition APA, you'll have to change it a little bit because this is the APA 6th edition. They have reference articles like encyclopedia articles. Suppose you need more background on what exactly an infectious disease is. This explains that topic more in depth. If you grew up using a different language, you can actually translate the article to a different language. I'll click on the translate icon. And then select the option for which language you would like to use. It does a really quick translation. Now, I will warn you, this is not a perfect translation, but it gives you a general translation. Suppose you want to set up the language for viewing the database. You can do that. Click on Set Interface Language and choose. Also, some people like to hear and listen to the article being read to them. Click on the icon for Listen. Right now, it's reading the article, voicing it. Here are some examples of images that you can use in your paper or presentation. Here's videos. audio with transcripts, newspaper articles, 
and magazine articles. So you have hundreds of different articles that you can use for your papers. I suggest that you don't use the Google website when looking for articles. That's because those articles sometimes are not reliable. Anybody can post anything on Google. So people can change the article. And you don't know what could have happened to that article. Or maybe someone is not an expert and explaining something that's false. So please, use your library database to help you find good, reliable articles.